Hey guys, it's Red Tamir, and today we're playing Incredibox Setbox V8 Lights Out. I said yesterday, I am extremely excited for this. Uh, oh, I already know that we have two extra. Never mind. I harm things. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Am I supposed to solve that? I'm not solving that. Okay, I'm I, I, I'm I'm too dumb. You don't. What, what is this? I harm things both bionic and a bionic. You don't know I'm here there until I start acting. I change the style inside of my current host. What am I? Huh? Can can, can someone answer that? I'm stupid. Okay. Anyways, um. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything to say, other than let's just get started with B1. Alright, and I do have the lore documents right here, so we can go through all of those. Anyways, uh, yeah, B1. Alright then. Are you off to a heavy kick? I'm assuming that that's what that is. I don't know. Like, this was made in like a month or two, right? Like, this, it, it hasn't even been that long. Okay, uh, I think he just reused the same clock sound. Wait, that animation! I just realized! That shit went really, really smooth. What the heck? Alright, alright. Alright. Wait, we've seen you before. What happened to you? Oh my gosh, your eyes! Also, is this loud? I, I'm i gonna assume it's not, but it looks like it is um, from my OBS, but I think it's fine. Oh, wow! Hey, hold on. Ooh! <laughs> It's like a bit of a, a thumper, you know, you're, you're like moving around a little bit, you're, you're grooving. Oh my gosh! Jeez! Oh my gosh! Wow! I did not expect that. Also, why does this dude have this one like little cross in the middle? Like, is that anything like important? Nah, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna go to these uh, lore documents and read these out. So uh, we already know you, Eric Payne, or whatever. Uh, when the blackout occurred, Eric was one of the first people to exit this containment area. After unfortunately en encountering some of the fakers himself, he finally realized he wasn't a prisoner of war and began to see the real picture. He's with us now, although there is some th there's some beef beef with him and Igor um, since they were on opposite sides of the War of Embers back when that whole fiasco was happening. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I kind of forgot the whole war happened. I'll be honest. All right, Damien Zane. Yeah, you look traumatized. Damien never actually got out of his cell since he was strapped down to his bed. This was because his, his dangerously high paranoia made him a threat to himself. This backfired. When the blackout occurred, he um, he ended up playing dead after hearing several fakers outside. This ended up working as every faker who wandered in had automatically assumed he was already dead and moved on. All right, then. So, oh, fake con. All right, isn't the actual con dead? Like, I me I think I remember him dying or somewhere, right? A faker that took the appearance of, yeah, uh, of Con Ethan, an explorer of the depths who was killed. Uh, this is one of the fakers. Uh, Bludge one to death? Is that how you say that? Yeah, whatever, but by Igor. All right. Fake Alex, yeah, here we go. Uh, uh, a faker that took the appearance of Alex Bont. He had a high kill count of several com contained subjects before he was blunged. Wait, how do you, you know? How do you say that? Bludgeoned. Ah, okay. 
So, I'm not going to say that because of my stuttering, but I will say he got, he, he got smacked. There we go. <laughs> he was smacked to death by Igor. All right. Uh, Kiowa Hopi. All right. Apparently, Kiowa can actually still talk. It just took him a while to figure out now how. He's like a regular human now, just skeletal. But everything else is still perfectly fine about him. What the hell is going on here? But yeah, Kiowa survived the outbreak because of all the fakers. Just saw him as a pile of bones. Well, good for him, I guess, right? All right, so that's all the beats. So we're going to go now to the effects. And, um, yeah. Oh my gosh! Whoa, 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 no. That animation goes way too hard. That's a, oh my gosh. This detail. Oh my gosh. How many frames did that take? Oh my gosh. Wait. Wait. My brain's working for a second. Is that effect two from Steel Factory? It's probably not. But I'm gonna guess that's, that's, what, that's what it is. Jeez. Oh my gosh. No, no, this one looks crazy, bro. Like, what the heck? Okay, so you're just a dude. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, I'm actually really curious. How is this gonna sound? Okay! It's so cinem- you know, it's like... Cine yeah, it's basically cinematic. Gee, that's actually so cool. Alright, let's go to the next one. Fake- oh, fake Igor! Uh, easily one of the most dangerous fakers encountered during the blackout. This- this bastard mouth- no, this bastard's mouth can move- no, can stretch far beyond that of a normal human, and is crammed full of jagged, deadly teeth. On top of that, this thing can emit, um, basic signals that trigger sensors in the human brain, which can cause cognitive discomfort and paranoia. Because of- because of everything, he was one of the few fakers where we were not able to terminate before we had to evacuate. Ah. The Watcher, this guy is still alive? How is he still? He's been in every version, hasn't he? I'm trying to remember, was he in the aftermath? I guess Melanie too, technically, right? So if that's the case, he's been in every single version. Holy crap. Now he has like more, he looks better now than like how he looked in, wait, was he? Here during, I'm trying to remember. Was he there during Underworld? No, he wasn't. I'm trying to remember now. I I, I don't think he was. So it stood perched on the rocks outside, stalking us through the windows. The Watcher was never an immediate threat. The Watcher evolved based on no, evolved based on what it sees. We never fought it before because it always it's always too busy learning about us. It grew armor plates after watching Tam blast a faker with a shotgun. Oh, okay. We we will have to fight the Watcher eventually, and when that time com oh no, and when that time comes, it's not going to be pleasant. Yeah, I can imagine like at the end, it's going to be like all like. It's gonna be like, actually, this might be a, a um a hot take, but I think he's gonna be the final like actual thing to kill. He's, he, I think this thing might actually be the biggest threat because if it's learning from what it sees, this thing will become a menace, right? Um, alarm, f wait, alarm faker. Guys, I might actually be right. Looks like a faker that fuses itself with a um. With a flip switch android we were using as our alarm system oh maybe 
maybe not then. Yeah, this dude was an asshole. He kept blasting the alarm at an impossible volume and locked out, you know, and locked down entire areas of the facility because the alarms were so loud. It caused ear and brain damage. Nothing that a pair of earplugs and a shotgun can't fix, though. All right, you know what? Sure. Uh, fake Damien. A faker that, uh, who has taken the appearance of Damien Zane, this faker was killed by Tam in the Eastern Wing hallway. Wait, Alex Bond. Wait, aren't you dead? No. Never mind. Oh, Alex Bond. Here he is. Okay, yeah. So, Bond was, Bond was separated from us for a very long time at the start of the blackout. Since when the, the, the Transformers blew... Alex was one was the one who investigated. He didn't come back for a while, so Dallas went to um, go get him. Alex was about to be killed by a faker before Dallas drew his gun. No, drew his gun and fired multiple times at the faker, killing it. Alex contributed many times during the blackout, but ultimately he decided the chaos was too much to save the facility. He suggested to round up our surviving subjects and evacuate and took no and look for somewhere else to hunker down the depths will work just fine i know a good place but i may not have to call in a favor john azoff who's that again i'll probably find out oh that was a spoiler shoot shoot ah! here we go yeah we already saw this guy all right Wait, remind me who this is again, like, like in other mods, because I don't remember him very much. Is he Melody 4 for members? Oh, wait, you! Yeah, you're back again. You look lovely. I don't know how your head's still intact, but alright. Oh, Wait, you are, um... Whoa. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say that's B2 from Aftermath, but... Whoa. Yeah, we've seen you before. Interesting, all right. A locker? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh! Wait! Now, nah, hold up. Yo! Okay, yeah, cause okay, so I'm conflicted. So Oh wait no, you're a faker! I'm stupid! Okay. Guys, my oh there we go. Guys, I'm stupid, okay? This is the real Igor. This is a faker. My brain didn't get that for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, uh yeah, very, very cool melodies actually. I like this one a lot. Also, I love these guys like oh what who why is this one okay so you know we have this this <laughs> oh no it's kind of funny actually i don't know just also we've seen most of these guys haven't we like i feel like yeah you are melody one from steel factory uh beat one and embers and other versions most likely you are uh the watcher uh the the skeleton man just we we've seen a couple of these guys before anyways sorry let's go to the the files yep igor igor had wandered um out of a cell soon after the lights went out and all the automatic doors unlocked he came across carter's room and stayed there for some time maybe they were talking two figures had to um, wait, wait two figures um had Oh, descended on the two soon afterwards, but Igor refused to abandon Carter again by the time Tam stumbled upon them. Igor had already beat the first one to death and was punching the second one to death while they were pinned to the ground. Holy crap, man. All right. Uh, one, wait, 
he was also holding his own um, intestines in as he was slightly disemboweled from the attack. Holy, wait, he was, wait, Igor was holding his intestines? Dang! Okay. okay, I mean, props to you, I guess. Keep in mind, he um, he was completely unarmed and only had his bare hands. And he, and he took down two fakers. Igor, Igor soon entered a pain-induced coma. It's um, it's only known if he'll wake up. Alex is planning on telling Carter the news. He might be the MVP. Like, he beat two fakers. And what I can tell, they're not easy to kill. With his bare hands, though. Hey, props to you. Carter... Oh, wait, Carter! Oh, you're Carter! Um, Carter has survived uh, the all the overall outbreak of Fakers, although rescuing him had proven um, had, had proven difficult since we had to scrap him off the scrape him off the walls, floor, and ceiling again, which he had to feel. Wait, which he had to feel. It was all for his life, though. Alex suggested a proposition where we use surgery to pro um, to properly connect the nerves and in the extra hands with Carter's brain stream, which would give him con which would give him some control over the hands. I myself am questioning the morality behind this decision as it means Carter would be forced to be disfigured would be a would be a disfigured hand abomination for, for the rest of his life. Well I mean in the end at least he still has control over most of his body then, right? Because right now it's just his head. I'm confused at how he's still alive. Right? How is he still alive? I'm questioning that, but that's just me. The hive mind alive. One of the three monsters created by Mazwinth. Oh yeah, this dude. But the other two be being the Watcher and the Eradicator. Yeah, okay. This damn thing managed to somehow sneak inside a facility. This is the hive mind faker, the thing that keeps producing more fakers. If the, if this thing dies, every other faker dies with it. It caused the the, the blackout, so we got so we um so we got out of hand. We had to evacuate and we're search and we're searching for another temporary hideout. Why won't you kill this thing then? Aren't there like a dozen or two of you guys? Fake Tam. You don't seem fake. All right. A faker that took the appearance of Tam Fatman. This faker is one of the very few perfect fakers in, in existence, looking physically perfect in every other and in, in every way. However, this actually made him obvious as a faker, since a real Tam isn't actually that normal looking. Despite this, fake Tam um, proved to be an elusive threat who constantly um, sabotaged our efforts and restored the facility. It was eventually killed by Edgar. All right then. Um, Edgar. Oh, shoot, Edgar. Okay, when the blackout occurred, we had all had to, we all had to leave our main lounge to deal with the problem. I had Edgar hide into a locker and told him not to come out until I told him to. Big mistake. I shouldn't have left him alone. About an hour into the incident, the fake version of me, that asshole, lured Edgar out of the, um, wait, out of, wait, wait, lured Edgar out by mimicking my voice, my face. Um, well, with my face and tried to attack Edgar. There was there was a serious struggle based on the furniture in the room. But this is possible. But it is possible that Edgar fought back and bashed the faker's face in with a printer, killing it. Edgar has been seriously traumatized since. He hasn't been responding to anything. I still think he's trying to pr process the fact that he was killed by he was actually killed. No, that that, wait, that he actually killed something. I'm sorry, little man. He didn't deserve that. I'll, I'll be honest, man. All right. Um, yeah, this is great so far, though. The lore is actually pretty good too. Like, I'm actually understanding everything. I'm trying. I actually know who these people are because I've played every setbox version. So it's actually kind of crazy. Anyways, voice one. Lights are now out. Eyes in the dark. Run through the halls and make your. We've also seen horses are walking. Oh, yeah, you. All right. Ooh. Okay. Lights are now out. Eyes in the. Oh, yeah. Make you sick. Oh, yeah. Wait. Is this side chaining? Oh, yeah, I think it is. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, 
is that a voice? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. It has some voice in there. It, it, it just, it, it just, like, pixelated. Oh, shoot! You're, uh, B1 from, uh, uh, I, I can't say it. The first version. All right, all right. Nice, very nice. All right, Tam Fatman a lot. Wait, oh, oh, here he actually is. All right, Tam is the scout and brute force of the vital force. The cure that was used on him seems to have given him enhanced endurance, strength, and speed, as well as some minor abilities strangely affiliated with abyssals. Oh. Okay, he was overall a big hand in it, attempting to take back the facility during the, the blackout. Sick, alright. Maybe he's also like one of the MVPs. The Abyssals, that's from the last version, right? Those things were freaking crazy. <laughs> alright, uh, John, oh, John Azoth, alright. Uh, okay, yeah, so it turns out that John was one of the Abyssals the whole time. His, his real name is just Azoth. I'll probably still call him John. He told us this. After we saw him obliterating a faker with capabilities that are, for the lack of a better word, inhuman, John is also the older sibling of the of the master, which is why which is why they know each other. He um he used his shape shifting um capabilities as a possess possess I don't know how to say that to make himself look human to blend right in. Yeah. Okay. So in. I think the last version or embers i didn't realize this guy is voice two from uh steel factory i didn't realize that. actually he's had multiple versions i just didn't realize actually i'm pretty sure he's in the depth as well not in aftermath is he in no he's, he's not in aqua but he, he's in embers underworld and and then and now this version so sick all right elliot riot uh why are you making me write this? Why'd you do that to Elliot? Why are you why'd you make me do that? I'm sorry, forgive me. What? Oh Elliot Oh, wait a second. Is this Dallas Riot? Elliot Riot. Siblings? I'm guessing. I'm guessing siblings. Okay, I'm just gonna stop the video here real quick and say I am really dumb here. I d completely forgot that this guy was voice for the HA, right? He's voice for. For some reason, I didn't know that at first. So I'm gonna get real confused right now and think that I forgot some extra polos. So don't come thrashing me out in the comments saying, "Hey, uh, you're actually dumb." All right, I uh, I will. Figure that out later, okay? I, I realized the mistake I made. So, just don't get confused of why I'm saying all this, like, like in, in like, a few seconds, all right? So, back to the video. Wait, what? Wait, what? I missed a guy. Huh? I missed a guy. Where? Where? Where am I? Is, it, is this how you unlock the polos? Guys, what the heck? What? Hold on, I'm gonna ask my Discord this. Alright, so I was just informed. This one is virus. Oh, yup. Oh, boy. Whoa! Oh, he, he changes places! You're not safe. Wait, what? You won't be found. This, wait, what? Wait, what? I, I didn't see that. I'm, I'm the real one. You... The screen won't save you. That's actually so sick. What? Uh, whoa. That's actually really cool. 
All right, so this one apparently is like 81, no, 82, 83. Oh, it's 87. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. Why is Markiplier? <laughs> what? What the heck? Sep, what the heck? Why is Markiplier? Why is Markiplier in here? Alright, um... Whatever, man. Okay, so... I, this isn't one of the guys. Wait. Am I stupid? I'm stupid! I... Oh my gosh. I thought... I thought the... The previous one, Elliot Riot. I thought that was, I thought that was the last one. All right, so this is voice four. So holographic assistant. Uh, HA was a big hand for navigating the overhaul facility and was able to pinpoint the exact locations of threats and survivors through their vital, through their vital signals. Alex has managed to fix them entirely except the. HA was extremely laggy during the facility's blockout since he was forced to use a low power backup battery since he couldn't use the building's power. Ah, here's Dallas. All right, so he's alive. Dallas helped very, Dallas helped very well with the blockout incident. However, the other riot brother, Elliot, oh, okay, yeah, so that's what I thought, had breached containment along with everything else. Elliot had unfortunately reached one of the last stages of, how do you say that? Epithisopathy, yeah, and had a, and had entered a delusional episodes of blind murderous intent. During one of these episodes, he had put Tam in a chokehold and was forced to shoot and kill his own brother to save Tam. I do not think he's taken it well. Well, no, dirt. If I had killed my own brother, I would be devastated. Heck, I'd probably be depressed, which I think Dallas is. Man, poor guy. All right, the virus. Here we go. Active. Um, a sentient computer virus that was uploaded, wait, that was uploaded onto the main facility's control room by an unknown individual. Because of this thing, it made it impossible to gain automatic security measures back online, which made evacuation the only other option. Highly likely it was made by Arler, but it was also, but also not really, since Dr. Maslinth, uh, is a bioengineer, not a programmer. We'll investigate more soon. Gotcha. So that's it. There's nothing else. There's no lore on Markiplier. Why? He's in the mod, guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Okay, okay. I'll be completely honest. This looks like a female to me. I might be stupid. I didn't know. I know it's Elliot, and Elliot's a guy name, but you never know in this day and age. So, but yeah, it's a it's a guy. Anyways, um, but yeah, that's all the lore, and that's all the polos. So I guess we make a mix now, and, um... Trust me, I, 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 I don't even know what to use. Oh my gosh! Wait, 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 wait. You really can't hear this guy, bro. Dallas is like, like, he's, I mean, I guess you can kind of hear him, but this choir kind of drowns him out. This is so sick though. I like this voice of piano a lot better. Let's use this guy. I 
he he's gonna sound real good. So I also want to use some more beats. So uh, like you sound good, right? Oh wait, oh yeah, hold on, wait. Uh huh. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, here we go. Hey, get out of here. There we go. Okay, I'll be honest. This guy actually works so well here. I'm not really much... Okay, this is kind of like bongos, right? That's, that's what it's kind of giving me the feel of. I'm not really used to these kind of things, but this actually sounds really good here. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Should I use this guy? Hello. No, I, I'm not. It's not gonna work. I know it's not. So, uh, maybe, but nah, I'm not. I want to make like one more, like a little bit more cinematic. I don't know if that's possible. Like, use you, maybe? Maybe? Like. No, okay, sorry. This guy's animations are so cool. Are we not gonna talk about this? Like that might be one of the sickest things I've ever seen in in in, in this series. Like, dude. Jeez, man. Okay, I'm gonna try to name off everything in this. So we got the uh, aftermath, fourth beat. We got beat two from aftermath. Um, what the? Whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? Nah, nah, what was that? What was that? Go back in the video, guys. What was that? I saw that. What the frick was that? No, 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 what the frick was that? <laughs> you know what? That actually freaked me out for a second. Like, I saw this black... That's not bad. This shadowy figure... Behind this polo. Sorry, that's just so funny. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, just kind of funny to me. Sorry. But yeah, I just saw the behind that polo. I'm like, wait, hold on. And then and, and then it and then and then it went away. I'm like, oh wait, hold on a second. And then I, I go back and it's not there anymore. So that has to be a secret. Maybe like, okay, wait, these two are next to each other. Wait, maybe it involves these two guys. Okay, can I like is this like Dude, really? I mean, I guess that probably more accurate to actually incredible box, but there's no like little pause. Wait! Whoa! 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 There it is again! Hey, man! Listen! Wait, did every single time with these two? Oh, I'm gonna get this, guys. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so quick with that, but it's not working. Is that every single time? It is! Dude! No, that actually freaked me out the first time. What the heck? Oh, all right then. Let me put some little sounds up so that we have some. Jeez, that's so good. How's this? Oh my gosh! Wait! Oh, wait, there's again. Oh! No, it's this one. It's this one. Who is this again? This is, uh, uh, Dallas, right? My man, look behind you, for goodness sakes. <laughs> okay, sorry, like, that actually, like, that's actually so cool, you have no idea. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna turn this down, okay? I'm gonna turn this down. So, final thoughts. I absolutely love this. It's still not as hard as uh, Underworld. Well, I'm sorry, it probably hits harder, but like, it's just like, oh, I don't know. Cause this is peak for sure, peaking, this is a peak set box, man. Unless Seth gets way better, I don't know. This man's already crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted on saying if this is the best set box, because quality-wise, absolutely. This knocks out of the park, like, instantly, bro. Just this guy alone is crazy, okay? Jeez, Sep, you are so crazy with this. Okay, where are the credits? So, Sep, Llama, Alex, uh, James, Mopo, oh, Mopo, sick. Okay, Cone and Splat, Splatjack, too. Sick. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So that's who worked on this. All these wonderful people. I, should, I probably should have done this at, at the beginning, but usually the credits are like in the actual mod. My bad. Anyways. Yeah, that, that that's all to say, though. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you now. This one. Yeah, th this is. I feel like every new setbox version is the best one, right? I th that's why I think that I feel like that's what's going on here, cause th this is bet this is the best one so far already, dude. Quality wise, musical, it, it hits so hard. It, it's so cinematic, dude. It's so good. This oh whoops. This guy, like, dude, that's sick. It's so good. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. Next video will be, ah, uh, okay. It's spelled like this, but it's said as Hilari in an American accent, but in Dutch it's Hilari. That. So, I yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's Lime Six new mod that came out. It's it seemed like like a. It's in like a retro style, like old games and all that. So it seems pretty cool. There's even some Minecraft in there, I saw that. So I wonder how it's gonna sound. And I'm actually really excited for that. And I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll be playing that next, next week, Monday. And the next mod after that will be, gosh, wait, hold on, what is next? I, okay, I do have some mods planned out. I, I forgot, maybe like Dreamscape or something like that. Or uh, Blackout, there's also that one that, that I really want to play. Oh, there's also that uh, new, um, wait, it might be Blackout actually, where it's like a, it's like heavy rock or like it's a heavy metal, right? That that mod, I, I, I forget what it's called, but uh, I'm also going to play that one soon as well. So expect that. Anyways, it, the video is already way too long, so I'm going to end it here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So bye.